Aries, welcome to your monthly check-in for January 2021. I hope this message finds you well and fabulous. Thank you so much for your support. We are expanding videos on Sassy Scorpion Tarot, and I am absolutely thrilled. In future, uh, the monthlies will be released with uh, probably general love readings, but for this week, it's just the monthlies, okay? What's going on? What's going on? I decided to take some time to pull myself. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're going to be increasing, baby. Now, monthlies, what does that mean? Mm, it could be a combination of things. It could be love. It could be career. It could be sexuality. I never know. All right? That's the monthly check-in. Let's see what you're doing overall for the month. Some folks get career stuff. Some folks get the love stuff. We'll know when we know, yeah? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aries. What's going on with that current energy? Show me energy, please. Show me Aries energy for January 2021. What's going on for that energy, please, for Aries 2021? I like to think I'm professional, but, you know. <laughs> Every now and again, yes, yours truly is human. All right, show me that current energy, please, for Aries 2021. Hell yeah, nice, baby. Nice, knight of wands. Good. Good job, honey. <laughs> Great way. It's Aries is like, I'm going to kill it in January 2021. Good job, Knight of Wands. Yes, gorgeous. Putting their fire back out there into the world. Experiencing life. Feeling the motivation to get back out there. It does not have to be romantic or sexual. It could simply be your lovely fire energy exuding itself. Putting yourself out into the world. Lovely. Okay, what is important to Aries for January? What is important for Aries to understand or realize or appreciate for January? Mm, consider those options carefully, honey. Especially if you're just putting yourself out there. Okay, consider those options carefully. What do you want? Okay, do you want something short-term? Do you want something long-term? Your energy says, suggests that you're ready to get back out there. But what we need to keep in mind is examine those options carefully. Not everyone is for you. Not everyone is worth your energy, your time, or your effort. Yes? So, uh, the Seven of Swords is interesting. I can't wait to clarify that. But consider those options carefully. Know what it is that you want. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. What are the fears, please? What are the fears, please? But that's interesting. Seven and seven. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are going to be putting it out there in like two weeks. <laughs> seven and seven, fourteen. Mm, interesting. What's going on, please? What are the fears, please, for Aries? What are the fears, please, for Aries? I can't wait to clarify that one. But consider your options carefully. Know what it is you want. Don't let your mind sneak up on you. Be realistic with your options, in other words. Okay. That's what's important for you to realize. If you're going to put yourself out there, cool. But do so in a way that's intelligent and self-aware. What are the fears, please? What are the fears, please? How can you date in a pandemic, honey? You wear a mask, you use hand sanitizer, or you go online and date. All right? It's happening. People are doing it all day, every day. All right? What are the fears, please, for Aries? Any fears, please? Yes. Mm-hmm. That things may not work out. That you may not be able to make things work with the people you are seeing is now the time you want to your fears not being able to make this thing work interesting okay what is supporting Aries at this time oh yes the lovers oh the lovers Gemini energy let me know if you are experiencing a Gemini energy so there is someone that you want more than the others, and you don't know if you can make it work with that person specifically, but you're trying to figure out if you should keep your options going or not. Ooh, so there's your Seven of Swords conflict. What do I do? Do I keep exploring my options? Or do I try to make things work with this lover? Oh, yes. What are the obstacles, please? Just to FYI, the monthly should go faster than general love readings. General 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 love readings hello they're much more extensive okay but this should go faster what are the obstacles please what are the obstacles please that Aries needs to keep in mind what are the obstacles please that Aries needs to keep in mind what's going on there what are the obstacles please for Aries what are those obstacles please oh can you have access to the Sun oh my god <laughs> do they feel the same oh my god what are the obstacles the Sun Mm. Are you accessing your personal sense of joy? What it is that would make you happy? You know, you're going to try to make it work with this lover. Is that your real sense of joy? And if so, you know, is it clouding your judgment? Mm. Your obstacles, your own sense of joy and happiness might be, might be what's interfering with you. 
Is this what you really want? Will this make you happy? Show me the future and or outcome phase for Aries. The chariot moving forward. I don't know, honey, but it looks like you done figured it out. You got a lot of <laughs> you got a lot of power energy on this board. We opened up with you, it was lovely, and then you ended with majors. Okay, Gemini, Leo, Cancer. Let me know. Give me a give me a shout out if, if you're dealing with one of those guys. Alright, let's break this down. Show me the current energies, please. I know that you have this inclination you to shake off the stagnation. And the, the idea here seems to be, do I pursue my options or the person that I'm really, really, really into? Would it even work, by the way? Mm, that is the question. Do I keep my options open? You gotta figure it out, honey. That Seven of Swords suggests you need to figure it out. You know? And that's why we're here. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me the best possible clarification for Aries. What's going on? Show me that Knight of Wands. Show me that, okay. Ooh, let me know if you got some Scorpio in your chart. Okay. Here's the conflict. Do I put myself out there or do I stay put? <clears throat> is now the right time? Do I keep my options open or do I keep trying to work with this particular person? There is one energy here that you absolutely want to work with. It's your sense of joy, but are they? Mm. Okay, lots of power energy here. We got Scorps, we got Leo, we got Jim, we got Cancer. Woo! Ooh la lolly. Stay or go. Should you put yourself out there? Or halt all activities. Let's see what you do. Show me that seven. Of, oh, 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 oh. Show me that seven of cups, please. The seven, seven, honey. Seven and has seven. Mm. Show me those seven of cups, please. What? Ah. What's important for you to keep in mind at this time? If you're going to keep your options open, you need to be aware of it, not aware of it. You know, you got to make up your mind on that. You know, to pursue or not to pursue. To keep your options open or not. And if you do so, do so carefully. So, okay, dude, seriously, you don't know. Okay, the four cups, you don't know. You don't know. You really don't. And that's what you need to be aware of. You don't seem to know what it is you want. Your inclination is there. Don't get me wrong. The call is strong in you, my friend. It's so strong in you to get back out there. But you also seem to be confused, okay, in one by one person's energy in particular, okay? Be aware of it before you set foot out, so that would explain this conflict. Go, stop, go, stop, stop, go. What are we doing? Exactly. So in other words, perhaps you are not ready to leave this meditative energy. Okay? Sometimes we have to be stuck as much as we don't like it. Sometimes we have to be in order to work our shit out. So before you proceed, know what it is that you want, yes? This is what you need to be made aware of at this time. I know that conflict for you <laughs> don't go so good, honey. You got rocket fuel. You like to be decided. You like to be on the go. Um, show me that seven of swords, please. Show me that seven of swords, please. Yeah, look at it. Four, seven, seven, four, and four. That's both add up to 11, 11. Yeah. You got somebody who's marrying you. I, I typically suspect that when I see double numbers on top of each other. It was already there with seven to seven, and now it's four, four. They think about you as much too. So what's the problem? The fears. Is it going to work out? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, that's some... You two are marrying each other. Six of Cups. Will somebody extend? Will somebody get the nerve, get the balls to put themselves out there? What's going on, Aries? Is it time to move on from this energy or to continue to pursue that person who you identify as a lover? Will it work out? Who's going to give? Oh yeah, you're marrying and you're soul bonded. Ain't that a... <laughs> is it going to work out with this person, the Six of Cups, this person who means a great deal to you? Who's going to reach out first? Oh my, yes. Show me the lovers, please. What is supporting you? Your inclination towards this person is what's supporting you. It's what's supporting this whole energy. Should you move on with your life or continue to pursue this person? I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that for whatever reason, you're both of your energies, you're marrying each other, and you both seem to be at a standstill. Show me the lovers, please. I don't know why, but this person's energy is important to you, so I'm going to go ahead and take a wild guess. It's important to them, too. Yeah, see how slow it's going? It's hurtful. It's painful. And that's the truth. This person is a very strong truth. There's a truth here. A decision needs to be made. Somebody's got to move this forward. You're both lovers. You're marrying each other. You both want to move things forward, but you're both terrified that things may not work out. So should you put yourself back out there? And death is saying... You want to, but you're also not allowing yourself to because this connection is so fucking powerful. 
and simultaneously slow. Show me the sun, please, <clears throat> as your obstacles. So, is this person your true sense of happiness? Show me the sun, then. Is this idea of convincing ourselves that this person is absolutely it? Is that the idea that's keeping you in place? They are my sun. They are my future. They are my happiness. Are they, though? Is that what's keeping you in gridlock for moving on with your life? Okay? You know... I see this conflict with the lovers all the time. Two souls that are meant to come together, but for whatever reason they can't get on the same fucking page and it causes the great divide, the great conflict in us. Oh. It's those expressions of love, the Knight of Cups, that keeps you in your thoughts. You meditate on it. You meditate on it a great deal. The love that was expressed between you two, it kind of is what stays in your hand or keeps you in place. It's a place of healing, which is good news. So you are starting, you're at that point now where you're evaluating all those love messages. And you're healing. So you're not just locked in your head about it like Eight of Swords. I'd be more concerned if there was Eight of Swords there. It's not Four of Swords. It's more of you recognizing the difference, what's keeping you in place with this person's energy. What is the old love messages? Does this really make me happy? Mm. These old messages, these old love messages that were passed forth between us, passed back and forth. Does it really mean all that? Does it really amount to much? Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. It's it's moving so terribly slow. The world. Over the chariot. Show me the world, please. King of Cups. More of that pipe. Uh, excuse me. More of that Scorpio energy. Seven of Pentacles. I do believe <clears throat> you will move at least your emotional energy in a new direction. I do. I'm looking at a case of if you can't have them, you can't have them. The bond is here. The bond is real. It causes tension between the both of you. It's what keeps you locked in place and moving forward with your life, or I should say, your energy. It's not physical, really. It's more of your energy that is not moving forward. Okay, at some point, you cottoned on to it. The obstacle, this concept, this attachment idea that they mean the world to me, that they are the sun. Are they though? Meditate on it. I see you, chariot, moving forward to close this cycle. So that's an active decision as opposed to your energy just being present. The King of Cups, more of that Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be, but it's really just the representation of our most mature feelings. Whereas here, I see you meditating on feelings, but that doesn't mean that they were terribly developed. Knight of Cups, that's lovely, it's romantic, but it's not terribly developed, whereas the King of Cups is the ultimate representation of our mature emotions. I believe you're going to cultivate a different garden, or at least go back to working on yourself and your sense of emotionality. In other words, understanding what it is that actually makes you happy and investing more in that. Okay, I see you actively closing the cycle. Nine of Cups, personal happiness. Okay. Like I said, if you can't have them, you can't have them. For some reason, it's moving so terribly, terribly slow, and it's causing strain and heartbreak, and I don't know what the issue is. You two don't seem to be communicating, but you mirror each other. And that's painful, right? It's painful. It's like you might as well be communicating, except you're not, because you can still feel them. You can still feel their attachment. They can still feel the attachment to you, and yet it's not going anywhere. Okay. Aries, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Hopefully you realize this sooner rather than later over the month of January. Take care. Be well.